Good evening, and welcome to another episode of Mothman Podcast. You're listening to us on Mothman Radio, and also please tune in to our YouTube channels and hear all of our previous podcasts and our current podcast. Uh, we thank you for listening to us, and we hope that you've enjoyed the past, and I know you're going to enjoy the future. We left off last week. Uh, excuse me, let me introduce myself first. I'm Daryl Rourke. I'm the Mothman. I'm Amanda the Medium. And we left off last week with uh, Amanda um, searching for God and working her way back to where she is today. So we hope you enjoy tonight's podcast. So I think where we left off was that um, I was just kind of like, God, if you're there, I need to hear from you. Do you exist? And... um, I, I use the term God, universe, consciousness interchangeably. Um, I was calling him Mr. Universe. I use him because uh, I could use her just as easily. I don't think there's a, a gender or, or you know, I think uh, God is spirit. And, and spirit doesn't have a gender. A defined gender or any of this. Anyway, that's kind of my thought. That's who I was looking for. And um, when I said that, the moment that I said that, I felt just like a shift in energy. Like someone snapped their fingers in the energy field and and the energy just shifted um, where I was sitting. And... That was it for that night. And I was like, huh, that was interesting. So um, at this point in time, I, I was um, very alone and not alone in a bad way, but alone painting every day. And <clears throat> um, it was summertime. And so it was really a really nice time. And I spent the entire 24 hours a day outside almost. Um, I fell asleep outside plenty of times. And so I was uh, often sitting outside. And so a couple days later, I had had a a disappointing phone call with a friend and was just um, at a really, really low point in my life. And I want to say, I want to use this term carefully, I felt suicidal. Um, now that doesn't mean that I, I felt like I was going to go through with it, but I felt like, man, if I just wasn't here, it would be so much better. And, um, I had been struggling. This sounds so crazy. I had been struggling with, uh, the death of Chester Bennington who committed suicide and he was in the band Lincoln Park. Um, so when I said that, when I just said to myself, you know, I just, I just wish I wasn't here. I wish I was dead. Um, there was a, uh, a shooting star that just streaked across the sky right in front of me. And, um, all of a sudden I felt and sensed the presence of Chester Bennington. It's, which sounds insane. I know. I know I sound crazy right now. But um, he was there and he, he didn't speak. But he was there and stayed with me for about 10 days. Sort of helping me through this difficult period. Now, when you say he was there, um, I heard you explain this to another person at another date. Mm-hmm. But uh, he wasn't in a, a physically. It was more of a... Uh, an energy type of image that you that you saw, or was it uh, a physical image that you saw? Um, I could, I could see him. It's hard, it's so hard to explain. It's like okay, let's say you there's someone standing next to you, and you can feel their presence. You know that someone's there, but kind of take away the visual aspect of it. So I had the feeling of someone being there, but in my mind, I could also see him 
And um, the way that I distinguish, like, when you imagine something, you're putting that thought outward from you. You're saying, like, let's say you want, oh, I imagine I'm a princess in a castle. That comes from inside of your brain, and you create that image in your brain. But this is something that was inserted into my brain. That's the best way I can explain it. Um, so I saw him and he followed me around for 10 days and was constantly there. And it was a very comforting presence. And then, um, after that, I, um, due to circumstances, I had to move in with my parents, which is how I met Daryl. So I do not regret that at all. Um, now I also want to say that, um, uh, upon our meeting, uh, you had been wanting to be able to podcast your uh, beliefs and feelings and, and get into the paranormal world. Yeah. And then you met me, and I had been wanting to get back into the, the podcast business because I, I'd been out for a little while because of the move and everything. Mm -hmm. And I just had this urge to want to get back and, and, and do some more podcasts and uh, reach out and, and do some more investigations. And it's just like I was drawn to starting it now and then apparently whatever the I'm energy you, was it drew us together there, right there the at that one spot the universe has been <laughs> just really making things happen lately and i people around me are being affected and in good ways and i'm grateful i can't even tell you i'm like when i moved in here um i i still didn't know i was a medium um the next thing that happened to me was that I saw my, um, my cousin, my, what happened was I was cleaning the house with my mom one day and she tells me, Oh, by the way, your aunt is coming over. I won't even say her name. <laughs> um, <clears throat> this woman, my mother is crazy. This woman is crazier. <laughs> and I was like, Oh shit. So I was like, I told my mom, I was like, I don't really want to see her. And she goes, well, just say hello and go to your room. That's fine. And so I hurried up and cl finished cleaning and my aunt pulls up and I'm like, oh, great. Here we go. Hi, auntie. You know, and the whole thing. I love her. I love her to death. I love my family, but they're crazy. They're just crazy people. And so... She's like, oh, I got to get my hair done. And so my mom does her hair. And then um, it was so strange. Right behind her, I could sort of physically see this time. This It's like things were going up a step every time. This time I could see my cousin trailing behind my aunt. And I'm like, WTF. I don't know if I can say that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> I was I was shocked. I was shocked that I was seeing something like that. That I was seeing it so clearly. And that he was just floating along behind my aunt. And he had passed away um, in 1989. Um, so he's been passed away a long time. And it's her son. So he he was not, let's just say he wasn't a nice person to me. And um, so I began salting my the door to my room. And I'm like, you know, then I'm waving the, uh, the sage around. And I'm like, no spirits can come in here. No bad spirits can come in here. You're not welcome. Go away. And... Um, my mom walks by and she's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, nothing, nothing. I'm just nothing. And so she, you know, she thinks I'm crazy. Um, and I just wanted to add for all the um, uh -huh. uh, the little ones that's listening on that uh, WTF is, is what the, what's that for? Yes, uh, yeah, that's so, what that means. So I just wanted to add what's that. What's that for? Uh -huh. Exactly. <laughs> so... Um, I'm like, oh, I have to salt the window outside. So I go outside 
and I'm salting the window and boom, he's right next to me. And this time behind him is my grandmother kind of pushing him forward. And I'm like, what is going on? Am I losing my mind? I'm going crazy. And like, literally, I thought I was literally thinking, okay, well, I apparently I'm schizophrenic. Apparently that's what happens. I'm 40 years old and I'm turning schizophrenic, which, you know, if you do the research, that doesn't happen. But, um, so I'm, I'm, I look at him and he says, I just wanted to apologize I'm here to apologize. And I was so freaked out at the moment that all I said was, I said, I'll see you on the other side. I don't want to talk to you right now. And I climbed through my window instead of going to the door because I would have had to walk around him. Um, so that happened and I was like, oh my gosh, I need help. And, um, you know, I have a psychiatrist. I went to see her. Um, she's like, no, you're, you're nothing's wrong with you. I didn't explain everything happening, but she's pretty sure nothing's wrong with me. I'm normal. I'm functioning, you know? And, um, I was like, okay, I got a checkup from a doctor. And so then I called, um, I'll give them a plug kindred spirits in Winston Salem. They're a really fantastic store and um, I called and spoke to RJ and he agreed to see me and um, I went to see him and he did a reading for me and he's like, yeah, you're, you're a medium. And I was like, what does that even mean? And he was explaining, you know, a medium can talk to dead people and see dead people. And he's like, you know, you need to explore this gift. And he explained it a little to me and everything and explained uh, actually a whole lot about the whole situation to me. So I'm really grateful to him. Um, went home, did more research. And then I was like, okay, so if these come to me suddenly, can I reach out to the dead. So I gave it a try with a friend of mine who had a, a stepfather who passed away from suicide. And, um, I, apparently I seem to be a trance medium, which means I put myself into a deep meditative state and I'm still conscious. I'm still thinking because I can write and I usually write things down as I'm meditating. And, um, I just said uh, that some of the some of the introductory things that RJ had taught me, like to protect myself. And then I said, I would like to speak to this person. And so um, he gave me some signs and I was able to get back to her. And, you know, she was she validated everything that it was true. So that's basically how I ended up a medium. Wow. Great story. I really enjoy talking to Amanda. She's going to be on our podcast from now on. And she and I will be talking about a lot of different subjects. So if you want to contact uh, Amanda... Please feel free to email us at mothmanpodcast at gmail.com and she will get back to you just as soon as we, uh, we can and answer any questions that you might have, uh, work with you in any way she can. And we would love to have you call in or come by and uh, be on our podcast. Uh, just, you know, reach out to us and, and we will work with you in any way we can. Uh, we do do or can do mobile sites. So we can come to you if we need to. So just feel free to talk to us. Thank you for listening to Mothman Podcast, and have a great holiday season. We'll see you so soon on our uh, YouTube channel, and listen to us on Mothman Radio uh, at mothmanpodcast.com. Good night.